Whew. Well, uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. So, uh, I'm my body is more loose than I think it's been in a very, very long time. So, it felt like the back of my rib cage wanting to push through the front of my chest. Okay, like, so did you have trouble breathing? It wasn't trouble breathing. It was like almost like my ribs wanting to release something. Okay, that's a great description. It's pretty accurate, too. Like, it was not, like, it's not me trying to say, like, I'm struggling to breathe. It's like my ribs are saying, like, something's got to get out. Like, like the, the bottom of my rib cage, like, if you were to take my rib cage and put the last rib at the bottom of it, the rear, that's what's trying to let go of something. Aside from that, like, my shoulder blades and my rotator cuff. Like that's this what I'm feeling, and I'm just like, okay, I've learned that when my body is saying something, if that's the first thing that's coming up, I need to go with it. Right, you have a lot of release trying to happen in the torso here. Okay, now bring your knees all the ways up and put your feet flat on the floor. Like my arms, particularly my, my biceps, down to. Oh, uh, really starting at the side of my shoulders, biceps, forearms, and even my palms are starting to tingle a little bit. Okay, so tingling is a great indicator that you're starting to have some energetic flow out the arms. But as I see them, they kind of lay there a little bit dead. So here's what I want you to do to try to help them, because we know the energy goes into your shoulders, and it's trying to unlock something in your shoulder blades. So take your right hand and reach over to your left arm, and I want you to squeeze it all the way from the bicep, the, the very top of the bicep, like right at the deltoid bicep connection. Squeeze it really hard all the way down the arm, down the forearm, into the wrist, and into the hands. Like really tight squeeze, because you're gonna loosen fascia like this. And then do the other arm the same way. It's it. Really squeeze it hard. Great. Good job. There you go. Ah, ah, ah. There you go. See, that's sacrum movement. So your sacrum and your shoulders are trying to loosen up and then reconnect. Now it's in your legs. Good job. <laughs> to let that discharge come out as long as you're comfortable with it. It's just stuck energy. It's moving. There you go. Nice twist in the hips. Your body's got it figured out. Boy, it's like I'm stretching at the exact same time. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fascist stretching. So you've shaken enough that you've loosened the muscle. And there you go. And now it's going to try to balance itself out. But it's really stretching fascia at this point. What's that feel like? What's going on right there? First thing that's coming up in my, in my mind's eyes, my pelvic, pelvic yeah. area in particular. Like it's pushing energy up to collarbone on the shoulders. It's, that's like it's pushing it up my body. Like up my spine, up my entire chest, all the way from 
cafeteria all the way up. That's the best way I can describe it. Now it's going to repeat a release and a stretch. So we're going to see this pattern repeat itself because once it releases some more, you're going to have that pelvic movement again. Okay. And if you get tired at any point, let me know and we'll just take a break. Now, is this the same movement or is that different? I feel like it was a variation of it. Can you describe the difference in the variation? It's like it's not coming directly from the pelvis, almost like closer, like the back of it, closer to the base of my spine. That's how I can describe it. You're really good at uh, articulating this because you're right on target. It's coming up your spine. Right there, you can see that that's a different place. Mm -hmm. It's like it's coming up from, it's not even generating directly from the pelvic area, but more or less the top, this the base of the spine, where it connects to that pubic bone space. That's exactly right. And that area is working the release of your diaphragm in the middle of the, the, the back, actually. Oh. There, now where is it? Uh, abdomen and pinpointing particularly lungs. Great. Do you see how systematic this is? The tremor mechanism will follow the pattern of tension to release it. It's amazing how much it's literally saying this is what your mind needs to let go of naturally without you having to tell it what's going on. Now, how is it making that movement? It's adamant the stomach, like. Trying to almost like trying to push up out of the abdomen. It's like it's, someone was giving you a ton of crunches. That's what I'm feeling. And it's, ah, oh. And lower back as well. Feel it there. This almost feels like an entire upper body is making this movement. I'm not. See, now here's where your, your hips and your shoulders are starting to make a connection. There you go, that big roll. That's what it is. So your spinal column has loosened enough. Um, it's amazing that I'm what things are trimmering in a way that I don't think I've experienced before. And what's been happening is I'm having there's like there's emotional releases in between as well. So like we, we hear things like the body keeps score, but I don't think we realize exactly how much until we start this process. And so like in my own case right now, what's going on is just so much tension that has been stuck in a format that I don't think I've ever been aware of. And I'm feeling like, like I want to go and cry. <laughs> like I want to run to the bathroom right now and just cry. Yeah. 
But see, I think that's what's trying to come out. I think that's true for all human beings and particularly for men. We have just frozen and stuck a cry inside of ourselves, even just about the difficulty of being man in our cultures. Yep. It's so stuck inside of us, which divorces us even more from being a man. Yeah, absolutely it does. And I think what happens is, and even in my work being an energy healing practitioner, I notice everyone, and particularly men, are trying so hard to be too strong for too long. And it's actually killing them, whether they're realizing it or not. Like upper abdomen area, uh, up into my lungs is what I'm feeling like. And just tension there, just tension from actually having released and like you, you don't realize how much this is doing until you're actually doing this. <sighs> it's fantastic. I am absolutely blown away. And yeah, this is, yeah. <laughs> oh, that sounded in my calves right now. Like that tremor of my legs that's right in the calf. Yeah, there, there you go. So what it's doing now that it's opened up the torso is it's seeking a ground. Oh, yeah, I can start to feel it all the way down to my feet right now. Perfect. That's exactly right. The tremor mechanism will go all the way down to the toes and all the way up to the neck. There, now it's down into your feet and ankles. Yeah. Okay, one of the ways we're gonna to try to help your legs release some more, slide your left leg flat onto the floor. This is a fascia stretch all the way up the left side of your body from your foot all the way up to your arm. Oh, oh my God, that, that stretching is right, like my quad and everything. Oh. Oh. Body knows automatically how to stretch itself. Like it, it naturally knows what to do. And like it, it purposely put itself in that position to stretch everything all the way down to my toes, all the way up to my fingertips. As it, like it's just creating this direct line of energy going from all the way up, all the way down. And that's exactly like. If I had an imaginary energy line to go from here all the way down, that's exactly what it would be doing. And just almost activating everything along the way. There you go. See how subtle that's becoming now? Once the pathway opens, the energy can move in a more delicate, more refined manner. You can straighten out your right leg if you want. Okay. Straighten them both out. Okay. That's it. Let it twist like that. There you go. Straighten your right leg. Like put your right foot up towards your right, your left hand. Twist it. That's it. Like that. There you go, it's done. It's gonna move in a different way now. Now see, this is just refined pulsation here. You stretched and loosened enough that it's now just gently pulsating itself. Oh, that's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. 
Okay. Recap the second half here. The leg stuff, the feet, the ankles, the fascia stretch up your body. What was going on? Oh, man. Okay, so when we first started the second trimming, the very first thing that, ha that I noticed happened is it started immediately going down my legs. It seemed like the first half was totally upper body, pelvic in particular, and going up. And the second one focused particularly going strictly down and um, going down to, as you mentioned, grounding into my feet, but also reconnecting everything from lower body to upper body. So from head to toe, basically. And that was absolutely intense. And, you know, I think this, I can pinpoint one complete difference between um, doing everything via YouTube video and having this particular session, uh, well, two things in particular is I'm being guided as to how to access different areas of my body. So for instance, the fascia release into my arms, the fascia release into my legs and my feet. Um, that's completely different because I did not get that from that video. And I'm glad that I had this session to really clarify it. So those, those are some vast differences that I can share between the first and the second half and my prior experience to this experience. That's also, that's also truth as well. And um, so, because, you know, not everyone can access their body in the same way. And, you know, it's like you're, you're saying that I'm really aware of what's going on in my body. And it's amazing how much there's tension there still is in my body. So it's, it's a phenomenal experience. It really is. And so I'm just, I'm floored and absolutely flabbergasted at everything that I've experienced in this hour. And to the point where I'm like, yeah, this is definitely something I want to bring into my work as well. Um, it feels amazing. Like, I mean, I know, th and you know, knowing what I know about healing work and moving energy, uh, stuff's going to come out later. I already know it. I mean, I'm already feeling stuff start to come up right now. Um, but uh, that's, you know, that this is what it takes um, to heal and to release. I mean, not oh my goodness, this is this has been nothing short of a phenomenal, and I I can't thank you enough. Oh, I'm delighted to do it, and I I mean I'm honored to be connected with you. I really am. So thank you so much. Um, we're gonna have to continue to have conversations. Uh, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Yes, so yes, we must continue to talk. We must continue. Please, let's I, stay connected. I, I'm all for it. Dr. Purcelli, thank you so much. This has been a, a beautiful experience. Thank you, and for me too. <laughs>